So maybe you're interested in statistics, but you're thinking to yourself, I can't do math. I'm no good at math. As a statistics major myself, we're gonna go exactly over the math that you need to know for statistics, and I think you'll find out that it isn't so bad after all. All right, so first up, we're just gonna start with the easy stuff, basic math and algebra. I mean, come on, I have to mention it because it is used a lot. So let's just look at the standard deviation formula. This is one you'll use a lot. Um, we have to do square roots, we have to do summations, subtraction, squaring, and division. So that's all basic math operations that I'm sure you've seen before, and if you haven't, they're really not hard to learn. And then when the algebra comes in is if you wanna solve for one of these other variables. Let's say we know the standard deviation already, but we wanna find the population size. We would solve this standard deviation formula for n, and then we would have our population size. All right, next up we get into the series of calculus classes. For me, that was calculus one, two, and three. Calculus serves as the cornerstone for all of statistics. So for example, in Calc 1, you learn a lot about limits, derivatives, and basic integrals. And these are the ones that come up a lot with probability. Now, also in probability, you're gonna cover some of the things that you worked on in Calc 2, such as more advanced integration and infinite series. And then in Calculus 3, you're gonna be doing things like finding area under surfaces, Taylor expansions, and multivariate calculus. Now, multivariate calculus comes up a lot in a class I took called stochastic modeling. That's where we're modeling random processes using math equations. However, just in your basic stats classes, Calc 3 probably isn't gonna come up very much. Now for me, Calc 3 was the one I didn't really like all that much. However, there are still some concepts in the class that I find useful later on in statistics. However, Calc 1 and Calc 2 are definitely the most important to pay attention in. Usually after you take calculus or maybe even during one of your calculus classes, you'll also be taking a linear algebra course. Now in linear algebra, you're gonna learn things like matrices, eigenvalues, determinants, and all that other yucky stuff. Now this is another class that I didn't like personally, but I attribute that mostly to the teacher. But you're almost definitely going to be using matrices and probability. And I even had to use some eigenvalues and determinants in some of my later stats courses. So that really came back to bite me in the butt. Out of all the classes I've talked about so far, definitely the most important to get a good teacher in and to really, really pay attention in is definitely Calc 1, Calc 2, and Linear Algebra. Because these come up all the time in some of your later courses. Now finally is where we get into probability. Now, probability for me came up a lot. I had a ton of probability courses, but the main ones that we focused on were an introduction to probability and stochastic modeling. But as long as you have a good grounding in those other classes we just talked about, I don't think you'll have any problem with these ones. Usually in your introduction to probability classes, you'll be covering concepts like combinatorics, random variables, probability distributions, hypothesis testing, and confidence intervals. Now, you can definitely extend these further, but usually that's what you're gonna talk about in an introduction class. Personally, in my introduction class, we used a ton of integrals, used some derivatives, and maybe some other concepts of calculus as well as linear algebra. This is where I want to point out how important it is that you have a good teacher. First time I took my introduction to probability class, I had an awful teacher. She ended up getting fired from her position the year after that I had her, but I ended up having to drop the class because of how hard she was. And when you're applying these calculus concepts to probability, it really takes a different way of thinking because in probability, you're not thinking about numbers in probably a way you've ever done them before. So if you don't have a good teacher for probability, you're really not gonna understand the concepts and that is equally as important, if not more important than the math itself. But luckily for me, I had a better teacher the next time around. So this time, when I took probability, I had no problem and it really set me up for my later probability courses. Now I'm just gonna briefly mention some of those other statistics classes that I've taken that we've definitely used some of these concepts we talk about in this video. So the first one up is intro to stats. So intro to stats is just your basic statistics course where you learn about mean, median, mode. Maybe you get into some confidence intervals and the normal distribution. However, all you're really gonna need for this is some basic algebra, good at math. Um, you're probably gonna be able to use a calculator and for me, I used statistical software a lot of the time, um, which is what our teacher allowed us to use. So I really didn't have to focus too much on the calculator use or the math use. However, those are gonna be the main things you wanna focus on for that class. Another course I took was mathematical statistics course. Now this one was definitely more in depth. I had a teacher that was very kind in grading, but this class is probably one of the harder ones I've taken. In this class, we covered everything from uh, derivatives to integration to linear algebra to even some Calc 3 concepts. So it was, this was definitely one of the more math intensive classes I've taken. And definitely keep that mi in mind if you're gonna be taking a mathematical statistics course. And then some of those other classes I've taken are ANOVA, regression, um, stochastic modeling, and time series. All of these classes require a fair bit of calculus, a fair bit of linear algebra, and a fair bit of probability. However, I think they're more focused on a specific region. So that once you get into those classes, they're gonna explain things a little bit better, but definitely have that good grounding in those other courses. So you might be thinking, this math sounds 
pretty darn hard. Well, if you want to see exactly how hard my statistics degree was, check this video out next because I go over exactly that.